Hi everybody! You know Greek cuisine is of course based on a lot of meat and a lot of fish but a lot of our products, a lot of the things you eat are vegetarian. So I'm gonna show you how to make a real easy vegetarian dish with spring, uh, spring beans that you see here. We need garlic, we need an onion, three tomatoes, a glass of olive oil and since olive oil is relatively expensive you can mix three quarters of olive oil with one quarter of sunflower oil or even half and half and then your olive oil will go a lot further. We also need some salt, pepper and diced tomatoes that come in packages like this one. So the first thing you do is you gotta open up the garlic and we do it like this. You hit the garlic with a white knife and then it comes right off and then you have the cloves ready. You do this one after the other and within a few minutes the garlic is ready for cooking as you see right here. So we're gonna keep doing this and the garlic is almost done and once the garlic is actually finished then you gotta go and peel the potatoes uh, the, you have to slice the onion here and at the end you're gonna have to head and tail the beans and the way you do that is you take a bean and you cut the top and the bottom off the top and the bottom off you see a bean is like this as a top and bottom but you don't really cook you cut them off and you have to repeat these operation on all the beans and this is the one that really takes the longest amount of time but while you're doing this you could you know listen to music or daydream away or best of all think about a vacation in Greece so once I finished tail and heading the beans I'm gonna come back to you with the next step so we now uh, have all the ingredients we need this is the garlic the onion has been chopped up and sliced the potatoes are all nicely ready. The spring beans are of course head and tailed and we're ready to start cooking. And before we do that, normally every time we use tomatoes in Greece, uh, we use an additional um, food element which improves the taste. Now I'm going to show you that later because you can use it in the dish. And the reason why we use that is because tomatoes were originally poisonous. Tomatoes was a toxic vegetable and over the years and many crossings it became very edible and very good for you which may explain why tomatoes are good to, against many diseases and they say the Mediterranean diet which is based on olive oil and tomato is so good for you who knows it may have something to do with the fact that tomatoes used to be toxic and perhaps they still are a little toxic and it's for this reason that we use an extra ingredient I'll show you later so now Let's get ready for cooking. And just like that. So we can uh, put the garlic and the onion in it. Now for those that don't like garlic, although I don't understand why people don't like garlic, because it's a natural antibiotic and it's very good for you, but let's say you don't like garlic, you don't have to put garlic in this recipe. You can just use the onion. So replace garlic with just the onion. You may lose a little bit of that nice uh, pizzazz that this dish has, but at the end you will not have the garlic. And if you don't like garlic, there's not much you can do about it. The only thing I can say is that it's very good for you. As I repeat all the time when talking about garlic, it's a natural antibiotic. So we're going to let the fire warm up and then we'll be back. Garlic is, uh, the oil is nice and hot. We'll put the garlic in. You can see it's cooking nicely. So next we're going to put in, as soon as you can, a little bit brown, as it's doing right now because it's nice and hot. Just put the onion. Mix it well. The onions are cooking really nicely. In the meantime, we'll get the rest of the stuff ready. We're going to have to open 
After this step happens, you're going to put the spring beans in it. Give it a good taste. And then you open up the tomato container. Now the length of time that the bean steak and potatoes to cook is the same. So you can put the potatoes in at the same time. And let's not forget, we need to put pepper. I prefer black pepper, although you can use any pepper you prefer. Pepper is very important for the taste buds. And some salt. And once you do that, you've got to mix them a little bit again. you're going to put the, the tomato in. Now you put two containers and the secret to using tomato is once you pour the tomato in you're going to have to use the same amount of water as you put tomato in. So you put the rest one in, the second one, and the same amount of water because all this has to boil. Now once you do that, you're going to have to use that secret ingredient I was telling you about. And the reason why you use that secret ingredient is because it makes it taste great. And when you do, when you taste great, the next thing you need to do is of course to put, takes away the toxic qualities of tomato. And the secret ingredient is maple syrup. So you put a bit of maple syrup or sugar into the pot, you mix it well and you let it boil on medium flame for about 20 minutes. So here is the um, spring bean dish. It's boiling nicely. We normally use a um, cover for it so it doesn't spit everywhere. You can see slowly the water is evaporating. The fire is medium high and it's cooking nicely away and slowly the water will evaporate and we're just going to be left with a nice thick sauce and great tasting dish. But we'll be back once it's done, and I'll show you what it looks like. So the uh, boiling has stopped. You can see there's still sauce. And of course, to find out if it's cooked, you normally check the tomato, the potato. You cut it. And it's uh, smooth enough. And then, of course, you take a bean, and you see if that cuts easily. And I'd say it needs about five more minutes. So you need to put it on for another five minutes at medium-high. This took about uh, 35 minutes already, so 40 minutes is the amount of time you need to get this dish done. You put the cover on and wait another 5 minutes. So after 40 minutes <coughs> of cooking, the uh, water is pretty much evaporated. Now all you have is a thick sauce. You can see here the potatoes are cooked, the beans, you can see the onions that are in there, the garlic. And of course the secret with this kind of dishes, in Greek we call them oily dishes, dishes, is that you have to leave it overnight. In other words, you don't eat this today, you eat it tomorrow. And that is because overnight all the oils and the nice nutrients in the sauce tend to get into the beans, into the potatoes, and the day after is going to taste so much better. So my advice to you, cook it one day and wait to eat it till the next day. So now we're eating, we're trying the recipe. Let's see what it tastes like. Um, mm -hmm. The best test is when you actually try it yourself. I have an expert here, a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? This is very yummy. That's very good. Thank how, you. How did you do that? It was really good. Watch the video. Okay. It's very good. I'll do it. Mm. <laughs> not overcooked, not undercooked, it's perfect. It has a nice garlicky taste as well. Huh? It has, yeah. yeah. Cheers! Cheers!